Today, we are talking about something that is going to change the entire foldable industry. Samsung is finally stepping into the future with a device that does not just fold once, but folds twice. Yes, the long-awaited triple-folding Galaxy device is now real, and the leaks have exploded with confirmed details, new specs, and even the official release date. This is the biggest design jump Samsung has made in years, and today we are breaking down everything you need to know from the display sizes to the brightness numbers, camera upgrades, price expectations, limited availability, and why Samsung is taking such a bold step. Hey, everyone, welcome to Zadie S Tech. You are here with Zadie, so sit back, relax, and let me take you through every single detail, because what Samsung is building here is not an ordinary foldable. This is a glimpse into the future of smartphones. Samsung is finally ready to change the foldable industry once again, but this time they are going much further than just another regular Galaxy Fold upgrade. For years, we have seen patents, leaked prototypes, and concept videos showing a triple folding phone, but this time the leaks are real, and the release date is officially confirmed. Samsung is launching the world's first proper triple folding smartphone on December 5th, and thanks to multiple reliable sources, we now have almost every major detail about this futuristic device. From the display sizes to the battery capacity, from the new camera setup to the markets where it will release first, everything is becoming clearer. Before talking about the hardware, let's address availability because this is where Samsung is playing very carefully. As of now, the company is only targeting a very limited launch. According to reports from H-Universe and Evan Blass, Samsung plans to release the Galaxy Z Trifold in select countries such as South Korea, China, Singapore, and the UAE. This means Europe and the United States will not be included in the initial release. It also explains why Samsung is preparing only around 20 to 30,000 units for the first batch. This clearly shows that the Trifold is not meant for the mass market yet. It is an experimental high-end device made to test the future direction of foldables. Maybe next year we might see a global version, but at least for now the trifold is going to be very limited. Now, let's talk about the part everyone is excited about, the displays. The Galaxy Z Tri-Fold features a 6.5-inch cover display and a massive 10-inch inner display. When folded, you get a regular smartphone form factor similar to the Galaxy Z Fold 7, but when you fully unfold the device, it transforms into a tablet that is bigger than many standalone tablets. Even older tablets like the iPad 4th generation are smaller in comparison. The bezels here are also much slimmer, giving you more usable screen area, and the bright Brightness numbers are even more interesting. The inner 10-inch panel peaks at 1600 nits, which is already good for outdoor use, but the cover display goes all the way up to 2600 nits. This is brighter than many flagship phones and much brighter than the outer display of the Fold 7. So everyday use on the cover screen will be extremely comfortable even in bright sunlight. Now, let's talk about thickness. When fully unfolded, the tri-fold measures around 4.2 millimeters, which is close to the thickness of the Fold 7 when opened. But once you fold it, the thickness increases to around 14 millimeters because the device has three layers instead of two. Interestingly, the thickness of each individual panel is slightly different. The panels range between 3.9 and 4.2 millimeters. While this may sound uneven, it is most likely done for hinge balance, heat distribution, and internal component placements. Samsung is known for engineering precision, so these measurements are not random. They are meant to create a stable and durable folding system. Battery life is another area where the tri-fold is surprisingly strong. The leaked battery capacity is a rated 5,437 milliamp hours, which Samsung will promote as a typical 5,600 milliamp hours. This is a solid battery considering the phone needs to power a 10-inch main display along with a secondary display. If you use mostly the outer screen, the battery life will be excellent. But even on the inner display, the battery will perform decently for a device this large. It will not be groundbreaking, but it will definitely be reliable for a full day of mixed use. Cameras are one of the biggest highlights of this device. Samsung is giving the try fold a 200 megapixel main camera. Yes, the same class of sensor that Samsung uses in its premium flagship phones. But the more surprising part is that the Tri-Fold supports 100x zoom. Until now, Galaxy Fold devices never had such advanced zoom hardware. 
They usually came with a 3 times telephoto lens, but the Trifold finally brings a periscope-style system that can deliver 100 times digital zoom. This shows that Samsung is not holding back in terms of photography. Even though this device has three folding layers and a very complex hinge design, Samsung still managed to include a flagship-level camera system. This is a major engineering achievement. Let's move to performance. The chipset is confirmed to be from Snapdragon, but the exact model is still not clear. Usually, Samsung finalizes the chipset months earlier, but because this device is experimental, they might be choosing the most stable chip rather than the newest one. Snapdragon processors are well optimized for foldables and offer more reliable thermals compared to early Exynos chips, so the decision makes sense. Samsung wants to avoid any overheating or stability problems on such a complicated device. One of the most unique aspects of the Trifold is its folding mechanism. Based on leaks and cardboard models, you can fold the device in two different ways. You can fold the right panel first and then the left to get the cover screen, or you can fold the left first and then the right if you want the camera side to be on top. This flexibility is something no other foldable has offered before. It completely changes how people will use the device. When fully folded, one side has the camera module while the other side remains smooth and flat. When unfolded, the device opens like a book, but with an extra chapter in the middle. Now, we have to talk about the price because this is where most people will be shocked. The expected price in South Korea is somewhere between $2,000 and $3,000. This is a huge range, but Samsung has not finalized the price yet. And since this is a limited production device with a 10-inch flexible display, multiple hinges, and a flagship-level camera system, the price is not surprising. The Trifold is not meant to be budget-friendly. It is designed for enthusiasts, tech lovers, and early adopters who want to experience the next generation of mobile technology before everyone else. Now, let's place this device in the bigger picture. The foldable market is heating up. Apple is preparing a foldable iPhone that could shake the industry. Chinese brands are pushing aggressive innovations in foldables and flip phones. And Samsung knows that if they want to stay number one, they must innovate beyond the regular upgrades. So, the Tri-Fold is more than just a smartphone. It is Samsung's statement to the entire industry that they are still far ahead in foldable technology. But at the same time, the company needs more mainstream devices like the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 8 and a more affordable Z Flip Fan Edition to maintain market leadership. The Galaxy Z Trifold is proof that the future of smartphones is not just flat screens getting slightly better every year. It is about transforming form factors into something more flexible, more productive, and more exciting. This device gives us a glimpse of a future where one device can replace your phone and your tablet at the same time. So that is everything we know so far about Samsung's upcoming triple folding Galaxy device. A massive 10-inch display, a bright and powerful outer screen, a 200-megapixel camera, a huge battery, and a design unlike anything Samsung has ever released before. Whether this device succeeds or fails in the mainstream market is something we will see with time, but one thing is clear. Samsung is pushing the boundaries of technology and giving us a first look at what the next generation of foldables will become. Thank you so much for watching. This is Zadie, and you've been watching Zadie S Tech. If you found this video informative, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss the latest tech updates. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, take care, stay safe, and peace out.